Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a video with Chris and our good friend Andrew St. Pierre. We're going to show you guys how we built uh, this body. We're going to make another one. This is a Rick Turner inspired guitar and uh, what's cool about it, well there's a lot of cool things about it, but one of the neat things about it is it's got a 25 inch radius on the top and the back and uh, we had a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of missteps and false starts getting it just exactly right but we finally did and we're gonna show you guys how we did it um, in the uh, the following video so enough of the bullshit talk let's start turning exotic lumber into sawdust I've been thinking a lot about these guitars and how this this week is really more about an exercise in living history than it is building guitars for a lot of for for all intents and purposes so these are some of the templates that we've come up with for this um, for this process and of course because we're using a pin router we have to work upside down and backwards and then you've got two pieces that get glued together that are also upside down and backwards ain't that right Andy that is it's a mind game. So you guys just got done uh, uh, thicknessing the back and sides. This is uh, actual Honduran mahogany. Some people call it genuine mahogany. And um, the, uh, they're, they're, the guys are getting center lines drawn on here. And um, then we've got a whole board worth of steps that we have to do for this, uh, this procedure. So the very first thing that they're doing is they're, they're drilling some index holes. And they're going to work on our uh, copy carver jig here that we have all rigged up and you guys are going to see a bunch of that stuff in all of its copy carvery goodness um, so but they want to uh, they want to get everything indexed right and then we're going to cut as much off on the bandsaw as we possibly can um, and uh, yeah you're going to see it So now you're going to pull that off and you're going to rough cut the body? Yes. Uh, no more than a quarter of an inch to that line. Yeah, we want we want a bunch of meat left over. Right. For tear out purposes, correct? Yeah, so when this when this guy goes onto the, um, the copy carver sled over here, we want to make sure that we don't get a bunch of chip out. So I've seen a handful of pictures of modern day Turner guitars that are using CNC to uh, put the impart the radius onto the tops and backs. And we don't exactly know how he did it back in the late 70s, but we hear tell that there was a, a planer that had the, the arch built in. Um, again, this is, uh, this is an exercise in living history and uh, this is almost kind of like what would Rick Turner do if he were here using the tools that we have. We don't have a planer or a sander with a built-in radius, um, but we do have a copy carver. And uh, we built a, um, an arched uh, uh, board here using uh, lots of different techniques. Maybe I'll show you those here in a little bit. And uh, we're going to use the copy carver to impart the 25-inch radius onto our Honduran mahogany. You want to see? You don't want this for the video. You don't yeah, want let's, let's try. Yeah, let's, you yeah. Turn that some bitch out. Let's see if it works. I want to see if it's actually gonna do anything.
Gonna do a little rolling. You even have the shirt. I got, I got the shirt, don't I? What say, amigo? But that, that's, that's okay. I think we can just let that, let that ride. Leave that? Yeah. Well, who's the drunk guy yeah, who put who blue on that? the other side there? There we go. Let's we'll clean this off as best we can now. He's got the same one. Well guys, I hope that everybody enjoyed our quick little video about how we built the uh, the Turner Model 1 style bodies. And uh, I want to remind everybody that I am not interested at all in building these. This was a one-off deal, kind of to see if we could do it and prove to everybody that we're not just kit assemblers. <laughs> so I've gotten a couple of people who've asked if, if I make them one. No, Rick Turner is still doing it and giant kudos to Rick for being the guy who, who thought this, this kooky, kooky contraption up because it is really, really neat. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please become one of the 26,000 people who are subscribing. Um, we do kooky stuff like this all the time, and there's always something good going on here at the channel. If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys neat stuff like this. But if you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Just share the video as many places as you can think of. Help us grow the channel that way. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, y'all.